Hello, Happy New Year. I'm gonna be making some oat cookies that are not technically gluten-free because they're not certified uh, gluten-free oats, but oats in themselves are gluten-free. So, you know, it's a healthy sort of gluten-free cookie. And we're not gonna use real sugar. We're gonna use stevia. And we're gonna put some healthy sweet potato in it, some healthy raisins, some healthy dark chocolate chips. So it's gonna be pretty good, a pretty good healthy cookie for the new year. So we're not using flour, traditional flour. So we're gonna take our oats, just simple Quaker oats, old fashioned oats, and put them in a blender and make our own oat flour. So I'm doing a half a recipe because I already had the half recipe in the oven. I wanted to show you how they came out. So a cup of oats. Okay, and we're gonna blend those to get our flour. It's gonna be a little loud, here we go. so that it turns to a nice flour, oat flour. You see, nice and airy and light. And this is all gonna go in one bowl. No beater, no separate bowls, just real simple. Okay, so this is the flour. Really light and pretty, just like, just like flour. Okay, and oats, oatmeal, this is really good fiber. So, I took a banana and I used this real handy masher and mashed the banana. So this is one banana. I'm just gonna put that into our oat flour. Okay, and then, um, just a little egg. I did one egg, but I used half of it for the first half of the recipe. So uh, if you use a whole recipe, you're gonna do two cups of flour, two bananas, but I'm doing a half, which just makes, I don't know, maybe 12 cookies. So I'm just using a half an egg. Put that in. So if you want a whole 24 cookie recipe, use double what I'm doing now. This is half of the sweet potato. Same thing. I used, I, I microwaved the sweet potato and just mashed it up. Real simple. Put that in. And kind of mix this all around. You're gonna get a sense of your consistency. <coughs> to put peanut butter just I like chunky because you get the peanuts just put a little bit of chunky peanut butter in there it kind of helps uh, since we don't have really a, we don't have gluten it the peanut butter helps bind because gluten is a binder so we don't have that so peanut butter always helps bind Thank stuff I'm gonna put just a little bit of coconut okay. oil I found this on the web for why internet because coconut oil is what real good for us. Put a little bit of that in. And I don't know, you always put oil when you bake. So. <laughs> Figured it would you know, help. Mix all that around, looks really good. And of course, cinnamon. Cinnamon is good for the veins, good for everything. And just a little bit of vanilla extract, or you can use almond extract. You can use whatever flavor extract you want. But I like vanilla. Ooh, looking good. Then, can't forget the raisins. Always raisins, they uh, help with the sweetness. Speaking of which, I put our stevia. This is just a baking stevia. And it's the same ratio 
So I don't even measure, I just, I don't know what that is, maybe a fourth cup. I'm a taster, so I have to taste it to see if it's sweet enough. And I don't like things real sweet, so that's about, about a quarter. So if you were making the whole recipe with two cups of flour, two bananas, one egg, you would use uh, half a cup at least of stevia. So I just taste the batter. Mm, that's plenty sweet for me. And that was a quarter cup. And then I put dark chocolate in everything. So a little dark chocolate baking chips. Sprinkle those. You can see it, see it coming in to be. <laughs> I just washed my floor. <laughs> I don't want my dog to get it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this looks really good. Now, if you like chunky, like a chunky cookie, you can put whole oats, just a little whole oats in there. If, it, and if it's a little wet, the, the batter was a little wet, just sprinkle some whole oats and that'll give you that chunkiness, which I do like. You can see, see how it's coming together? This looks pretty good. So, okay, I always have to look at my ingredients to make sure I put everything in. I'm famous for leaving things out. I did, I got everything in there, okay. Good. Then, it's so simple. I sprayed a cookie pan already with, uh, you know, that spray that things don't stick. And you just drop a little, they say teaspoon or tablespoon, tablespoon, little drops. Can you see this on the, I'll hold it up. I'll just go around. Okay, so you get the idea, right? And the magic of TV, these already came out. So three, six, nine, yeah, you get 12. So I put a, a piece of aluminum foil on this one so let me taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. See how nice and chunky that looks? Perfect. Just sweet enough. You get the raisins, you get the chocolate. I put milk chocolate chips in these because hubby doesn't like dark chocolate. <laughs> so these are his. I already ate two. <laughs> so what you can do too when they come out, cool. Make sure they cool. You can freeze them in little, you know, separate packages so that you don't have this big old thing of cookies sitting on your counter. You just take out what you need, you know? Breakfast, they're great for breakfast. Sometimes recipes call these breakfast cookies because they're healthy, they're oats, and um, and you can kind of adapt the, the recipe how you like it. And you can put cranberries, you can put nuts, you know, you can kind of kind of make it your own. This is just the basic recipe, and you don't even measure. You just... So have fun and enjoy. Happy New Year.